G'day guys, welcome back. Take two with my ring pour. Uh, if you didn't see the previous video, let me just real quick show you the last pour. It's still really wet, I've only just done it, that's it there. So the corners on the left there are amazing. I just don't really like up here at the top where the colours have kind of blended more. So I'm going to do something a little bit different um, and see if I can not get those colours to blend as much. So I'll just pop that under there, keep it safe. Uh, now the last time I used a jug, let me grab the jug. get one. I used this jug that had a, that quite wide spout. So when I was pouring, um, that's almost, that's about two centimetres across, so almost an inch across. And as I was pouring, quite a wide sheet of paint was coming down. And that's why I, I don't think I got um, the look I was after. So I'm going to go for cardboard cups that I can actually pinch and make a, a nice pointy little spout. And the other thing I'm going to do is go back to how I usually do ring pours and do two cups. That way my colours don't blend. You'll see what I mean as I go along. Uh, pouring medium is 70% glue, 30% water. And I've mixed that 50-50 to paint. So I've got all global, black, lilac, same colours as the previous pour, orange, turquoise and hibiscus. It's kind of a hot pink touch of red in it um, and I've mixed those one part pouring medium to one part paint I haven't used any water I'd rather have these on the thicker side than on the thinner side I've got 60 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint I've got a little bit of extra black I'm going to try and put a touch of black between each color so I'm going to pour a little bit of black in the bottom Of each so each color is only going to be have one layer but I'm going to do two cups so half that will go actually I might not even I'm gonna to have to go in bigger cups I don't think I'm gonna fit <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna fit them in the little cups you guys let me just start again with some bigger cups I'm gonna to have to get that black out it may be all right. I just I don't want to take the chance and, and not have enough, not have a big enough cup. I'm wasting some of my black now. That's all right. I'll, I'll use this somewhere else. These little cups. They won't go to waste. I'm gonna do a little ring pour. I can use those. Okay. So some black in the bottom of that one, and some black in the bottom of that one. So blacks really quite thick. Let's move those out of the way. Okay, so half the purple in this cup, the other half in that cup. It's about equal. I'm not going to worry about scraping them. It takes too long. Now just a touch of black. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit of black in between each layer. She might need a little bit more. Oh, black's so thick. I hope I haven't gone too thick now with my colours. Half the orange. Might have to add a little bit of water to the black, actually. The other colours are okay, but the black just seems a little on the thick side. Where's my water? Black's always thicken up, don't they? Give that a bit of a squirt of water. I could just feel it as I was pouring the black in that it was pouring out so much slower than the other paints were, which means that it's thicker than the other ones. I just didn't want to have the black too thin because then it would blend. Okay, so a little bit of black now. If that's enough. Maybe a touch more. And then half the turquoise. 
and I find having two cups like this, my colours don't blend so much. A little bit of black. So I'm hoping for black rings between each colour. Pink. And some more black. And a little bit of water in the rest of the black. And that can be my flow enhancer for my corners. I'll just leave that there. There's not much left in there. Hopefully it's enough just to get my corners done. Otherwise, I will have to use my spare paint over there, which I think my last one had some... Um, silicone oil in it right now look at those stripes so I can make a nice point out of that and start doing the ring so when I finish this first cup I'll then start with the second cup in the same spot hopefully get nice rings this time Not yet. I'm going to have to get a bit closer. See, I'm getting closer now. I'm getting a nice ring. If you hold your paint too far up, you start getting the little wriggly lines, whereas if you hold it nice and close, you get more of a ribbon. Which is what I'm wanting. Look at that. Looking good so far, you guys. Now slow it down. Now when I start with the next cup, it's going to do a big blob of black. So I may actually just pour a little bit off first. If you do end up making a little bit of a a wriggle that's okay just get your bamboo stick and turn it into circles okay so this is the second cup and as I said I'm going to get a big blob of something I'm not sure what so I'm going to pour some off here first where will I do it over here so I don't want too much see how it's all black Okay, so now I can start again, now that some of that black's had a chance to go. I'll start again. Ooh, that's a lot of pink. Let's get rid of some of that pink. Still a lot of pink coming off. Righto, here we go. It's going to cover up some of that pink. Just walking it a little bit just to get back to the center. Make a pretty little pattern there with the pink and the turquoise next to each other. Okay, just about done and I'll try and catch that drip again. There we go. Wow. Just finish it off with a little circle with your bamboo skewer. Okay. Phew. Where's my black? 
Where's my black rings gone? Mm. I still want to have some black around here, so I might have to go and get some more of my, my black from over there. So that I've got some black to cover the edges. I do find that it flows better. Although there's a lot of paint on there. I, I better not actually, you know, I better not. Because there's so much paint on there, it's so thick, that if I put too much on the edges, um, I'm going to have too much paint on the surface. So I'll just put a little bit of black around it like this. And just stretch it. I think that's probably the safest thing to do. Just stretch that paint out because it's very thick and there's a lot on there. You can see how thick it is. It's just sort of sitting there, isn't it? It's not going anywhere. So make a really, really thin covering just out here just to cover it. I won't put any more black on here though. I think that will be enough just to cover the surface, help the paint glide along a little easier. It certainly does glide along better if the canvas is wet and you find that the rings don't tend to sort of roll over themselves. They kind of just slide out, which is what I want. I don't want to really lose... If your rings roll over themselves, you kind of lose your pink on the outside, which I think I will anyway, but that's why I did two cups. And I did two cups rather than, with one layer each, rather than one cup with two layers. I just find that I don't get as muddy when I do two separate cups with one layer in each. And you can see that, you can see the difference straight up. Okay, that's... I'm black covered. I'll go around and do the edges later on. I've got extra paint there. Just do my edges. Or if I go over the sides, then I won't need the extra paint, will I? All right. Uh, where's my torch? Give it a quick torch. It does seem to be heading that way, doesn't it? Just pop some bubbles. Wish I had more orange in it. Wish I had some more orange here. Although there's some there. Once I start stretching, I think it'll pop up. Now this side, where these pink and turquoise beautiful little effects are, I like that better. So I'm going to tilt off here first because I want to keep those. Those are gorgeous. So let's turn it around. And I'm going to go off to that direction first. And as I do that, you can see these stretching and opening up. And look how amazing those are. So you can see how the paint's kind of rolling over itself. I am losing a little bit of that pink. It's not too bad. If I didn't have the black there, it would roll over itself a lot more. And that's about enough for now. Bring that back. I do want to just cover that. <laughs> it's the OCD in me. I can't help it. Make it pretty. No, I don't have OCD. I just like things to be done. My way. <laughs> My way or the highway. And I like them to be done properly. If they're not done properly the way I like them, <laughs> it annoys me. I know, I'm hard to live with. My husband says I'm hard to live with. Difficult. But I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting things done properly. Is there? Okay, that's covered that little bit. Now I'm going to go... I think I'll just go... Where will I go? I'll go that way. Seems I've just gone this way, I'll go that way. Actually, no, I won't because I, I want to keep 
I still want to keep those. So I'm going to get it back to the middle and I'm going to go that way. Right, let's change direction. It's rolling over itself here. I want to lose that turquoise. I don't want to lose my turquoise. What can I do? What can I do? Let's pop a little bit more turquoise just here. Because I don't want to lose all of it. See how that goes. Now, if the paint rolls over itself, it'll just hopefully the turquoise will keep going. No, oh, I'm losing it. Come on, turquoise. You can do it. Stay with me. So as you can see, there's no reason why you can't add extra little bits of colour here and there. Didn't want to lose that turquoise, so I've added a bit more there. I better get my paint back here. It's going to... I didn't notice this. I was so... Um, watching that section up there, I didn't see this runoff. Okay, let me go around here and fix this little black corner. really like the pops of the black against these bright colours. So quite happy to leave the corners black. There's not a lot of black showing up in the actual pore, is there? I, I put black in between each, between the colours. It's not that noticeable, really. Okay, I'm liking this one better than the previous one. The colours certainly are staying brighter which is what I anticipated. Now back to the middle. There's a lot of purple just here, which is a shame. I may have to tip some of that off later. Okay, let's go for this corner down here. I may actually put a little bit of orange just there, like I did with the turquoise, just because I'd like a bit of orange just here. Oops, don't run off. Just like so, just to balance it a bit. And back it's just enough orange to make a little ring there you know I don't want too much okay now I'll turn it around it's looking so pretty don't want to rush it now more black so messy more black on the corner here over the edge. I really like that pop of orange there. And it's not too thick, it just looks as if it's you know supposed to be there. So if you're doing this, you know it's your painting, you do whatever you want, whatever looks nice in your eyes. I just wanted a little bit of colour there between the black. So, yeah. Okay. Last corner. Now I'm going to bring it back a little bit, back into the middle. Oh, it's raining. Okay, and off we go to that last little corner. What colour do I want there? Hmm, I may do some more orange there actually. 
because there's a lot of turquoise, a lot of turquoise here. I may pop another little bit of orange on yet. I won't do it just yet. I'll get a bit closer to the corner. Oops, I don't want to lose that ring off the edge there. That's doing something weird there. It's having a weird little shape here. Sure, what that's doing that corner. Okay, off we go again. Don't really want to lose that pink line just there. corner just help it along a little bit I think there And I can fill it in with black. Hopefully it'll dry. It's pretty thick there on the corner. Hopefully it'll dry okay. Need a tiny little bit of orange just for the edge. done it. I think we're good. I think we're good to go. Wipe that down. Let's do my sides here and then I'll have a think about what I want to do with the rest of the painting. Um, let's see. Now I want to bring this down. like this big block of orange uh, purple just there but if I take if I want to try and get rid of some of that purple I'm going to lose all that orange what's that going to look like oh, I don't know love that I'm going to just Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to take off some of that. I really love what it's doing up here. See that? I may even go off this corner here and get rid of some of that purple because I don't love that orange there I don't love that blob so I'm actually I'll just go there take some of that off take some of that off see how that looks that way I'll open up these beautiful pink and turquoise lines you see how slowly it's moving it's really thick 
it doesn't have to be matchy matchy i prefer it not to be so matchy matchy you know with a big circle in the middle I prefer that not to be the case so let that orange run over there and then i'll come back just keep a little bit of purple on the the corner Actually, i'll turn it around so that you guys can see what i'm doing otherwise you can't see can you so i personally prefer not to have the circle whoops i've just put that cloth in my paint this circle right in the middle i think it looks nicer a bit off center i'm going to take that down just a touch to open up this corner here And just take a little bit of that turquoise off the bottom there. Okay. And this is just me checking the composition. There's no right or wrong. It's just whatever you like. Oh, my goodness. Love, love, love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So these three corners here, we've got the black, and then over there, it's a little bit different, which is is fine by me. Now, do I want to take any more of that purple off? No, I don't think so. I think it's enough because up here, there's, there's you know, there's no purple up here, hardly any. So, and there's a little bit there, a little bit there most of it's there i think that kind of balances it out okay i am backing away I am done. Love it. As far as the black rings in between go, they're certainly more noticeable here against the orange. Um, you can see some black in here between the pink and the turquoise. Yeah, that the black is is really really pretty against those bright colors so i'm just going to spend a bit of time off camera just fixing my my corners and it's really only a little bit of black that i need to fix so i'll do that but i'll take these rubber gloves off and show you this amazing amazing ring pour which I'm going to have to put a coat of gloss varnish on it because it is so pretty. Um, just looking at this purple down here. Just wondering if I should take... No, because if I take that off, it's going to make this area here wider with purple if I take that off. So... I think the best thing to do is to just leave it alone. Oh, now I've got paint on my finger. Okay, down we go for a close up. I'll just turn this spotlight off. That's better, that's a true color. Maybe I should pour without it. Oh, sorry, I just turned my camera around. <laughs> I forgot you guys were there. I just flipped my camera around my phone. Okay, look at that, you guys. Now, you can see over here, I've got those amazing stripes. Sorry about the light. Can't do anything about that. Look at that. It's those amazing stripes where I put a little bit of black in between. And then here, oh, my favourite, favourite. Look at that. Those little tips of black on the edges. 
of the pink and it comes around blends beautifully into the orange amazing if I do say so myself I hope it doesn't sound conceited love 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 it and there's the whirlpool in the center so as you can see you do get much better ring definition when you're just using one layer and by all means do two cups like I did uh, with your second cup though you may just have to pour that first little blob out because it comes out yeah in a bit of a comes out pretty pretty heavy in that one color and you don't really want too much of that first color so just pour a little bit off okay there we go um, I think I'm done with ring pours at the moment and uh, what will I do next if you've got any suggestions if you want me to do something for you let me know I'll try my best to accommodate and uh, I'll see you for the next one bye for now